Hey guys, welcome to Wild Sights. Today, we will learn how to fight off attacking animals. Let's get right to it. So, these are extreme scenarios. You're not gonna go up to an animal and just punch it in the face because you want to or you think it's going to attack you. 99% of the time, they're either bluffing or they're just gonna run away. They're either defending their territory or defending their young. I just want to emphasize that these are only extreme scenarios when your life is actually in danger. Oh no, it's a scary shark approaching me. What shall I do? There's three vulnerable parts on a shark. You have the eyes, you have the gills in this general area, and the snout. So, when a shark, when a shark comes up, it thinks you're food. It thinks you're a seal, so you have to fight it. If you don't fight it, you're just gonna die and it'll eat you. You don't want that to happen. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna try to scratch at the eyes, scratch at the gills, or just hit the snout. Okay, it's very hard to land a solid punch underwater, if you notice. Punching the snout is your last resort unless it's, unless it's above water. While if you're underwater, claw at its eyes and its gills. Here is the shark scenario. Jack, one, shark, zero. Our next animal is a mountain lion, which looks oddly like a African lion. So the steps to defend yourself against the mountain lion is back away slowly, throw stuff, and then just pretty much punch in the eyes, the nose, anything that will keep you alive. It's either a you or the mountain lion. I just want to emphasize that these are only extreme scenarios when your life is actually in danger. Now we'll do the mountain lion scenario. Our next animal is a grizzly bear, not a black bear. So the grizzly bear, what you're going to do is once the grizzly bear charges you and hits you, you're going to cower down, cover your neck and your stomach. If you don't do that, then you die. Fighting is the very, very, very last resort when it comes to a grizzly bear. So once it starts walking towards you, it kind of is a threat. So what you're not gonna do is you're not gonna go to it and punch it, because what it probably does is it bluff charges. Bluff charging is actually a very common thing. Also, when it stands up on its hind legs, does not mean that it's trying to eat you or scare you, it's actually just trying to intimidate you and check you out. Once it hits you, you're going to cower down, cover your neck and your stomach, and just pretty much hang on. Just pretend you're dead for at least 20 minutes. If it is still going, going, going at you for 20 minutes, then your very last resort is to fighting. When you fight, you just want to punch it right in the nose. Here is the grizzly bear scenario. it is a black bear, then you do not play dead. You punch it in the nose. Our next animal is a gorilla. <laughs> so before you even see the gorilla, you're going to hear a hoot and grunt that are really scary. <laughs> 
So my advice would be to get out to there slowly. If you're not smart and you just stay there and the gorilla is coming closer to you, you cower down, look disinterested, and go limp because it's probably about to touch you, drag you away. Whatever you do, do not fight. You're weak, you're puny, you're absolutely nothing compared to the gorilla. Now we run to the gorilla scenario. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to fight off attacking animals. My name's Jack. Be nimble, be quick, and I'll see you next time. Well guys. Because you will be eaten alive, and from experience, it is not fun. Oh crap. <laughs>